If you love your iPhone so much, why don't you marry it? Hello? Mom? Aaron Shervenik is truly living the dream of Joaquin Phoenix's character in the futuristic romantic dramedy Her. On May 20th, Shervenik married his smartphone at the Little Las Vegas Chapel. While Shervenik didn't disclose his phone's brand or operating system, he assigned it a female gender, taking Her as his battery-operated Bride. Speaking to Kaspersky Lab, which produced a video profiling the happy couple, Shervinik explained, quote, If we're going to be honest with ourselves, we connect with our phones on so many emotional levels. We look to it for solace, to calm us down, to put us to sleep, to ease our minds, and to me, that's also what a relationship is about. I mean, why risk inevitable rejection on Tinder when your smartphone can keep you company unconditionally? The state of Nevada won't legally recognize the union, but Shervinik says it's a, quote, symbolic gesture to show us how precious our phones are becoming in our daily lives. For some folks, though, publicly committing to an inanimate object is a genuine expression of love and even attraction. In the early 1970s, a Swedish woman named Ea Ritta Eklof Berliner Mauer coined the term objectum sexuality to describe her attraction to non-living things. Then in 1979, she married the Berlin Wall. Thanks to the internet, Ms. Berliner Mauer found found others who shared her peculiar passion. One of those folks was Erica Labrie, who legally renamed herself Erica Eiffel after marrying the Eiffel Tower in 2007. Also the founder of the online support group Objectum Sexuality Internationale, Mrs. Eiffel became the most publicly visible member of the objectophile community after being the subject of the 2012 documentary Married to the Eiffel Tower. But the Eiffel Tower hasn't been the only structure to catch objectophile Philip Erica's eye. Prior to her 2007 commitment ceremony, she had forged relationships with a fighter jet, a fence, and her archery bow. As of 2015, Ms. Eiffel had reluctantly moved on from her towering Parisian paramour after the documentary she was featured in wasn't favorably received by the Eiffel Tower staff. She then tentatively began dating a crane, as in the machine, not the bird. Clinical sexologists have documented objectum sexuality among both women and men, although scant data exists to quantify just how many objectophiles exist around the world. So what's your relationship with your smartphone like? Have you ever wanted to marry a landmark? Get in touch and let us know and be sure to keep up with us at now.howstuffworks.com because you just might fall in love.